रमजान हमारा ईमान रमजान हमारा ईमान Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Zahira Bam Ismail and you're watching Halal TV. I hope this Ramadan is going very well for you. We've been spending a few minutes every day just with some motivational advices. And it's first for me before it is for anyone else because I think we always have a process of growing and of learning. One of my lecturers once said to me is that the moment you think you know enough, it's time to leave the profession. And I think this is something that we need to be so conscious about, that we need to not be afraid to be able to learn more. We have so much at our disposal. We have so much of access, not just to ulama, but to writings, to chats, to blogs, to information, uh, to websites. The list is endless. But how do we choose what works for us? We need to also be critical about the things that we see. Don't take things at face value. Find the right people in your community that you can pass by information on. Sit and keep good company. And I think this is why it's so important that our dean keeps talking to us about being surrounded by good friends, about having good company, because it's an integral part of our learning and our growth. If we in company that makes us stagnate, that you leave then you don't feel that you've learned something, it's time to really look at those friendships. It's time to really look at the circles that we're keeping. We're at ages in our lives where we want to learn more. We want to be able to absorb information, but we also want to be able to look at things, not just lemmings, don't just follow blindly. Islam tells us, Ikra, read. Take that time to read. Take the time to have those discussions. You know, this is the month of the Quran. It's not just about ticking how many khitams we're able to do, but it's have we got an understanding of what we're reading? Are we able to implement those into our lives? Are we able to implement those lessons into our lives? And again, none of us are perfect, but it's about taking and making small changes in our lives. And that's what matters the most. It's about being able to understand what we're learning, what our religion teaches us, what we're hearing from people around us, to be able to sift through what is authentic, what is not authentic. And, you know, we get so caught up in cultural innovations without understanding or realizing the mistakes we could be making along those ways. And we do it because it's how we grew up. It's what our grandparents did. It's what our parents did. But now's the time to start re-looking at it so that we don't make the same mistakes and pass that on to our children. It's time that we start looking. Is it something authentic? Is it something that is based in my deen? Is it something that I can pass on and teach my children without risking or uh, straddling a line of, are we risking innovation? With the amount of access to information that we have, it's actually a disservice we're doing to ourselves by not picking up a book, by not searching for the right information. When you're spending time scrolling on social media, find the right things to scroll. Find the right um, groups that you're following, the right uh, social media accounts that you're following, things that are going to help us grow, things that are going to help us learn, things that are going to help us thrive from. We owe that to ourselves. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ramadan,